Nigeria's First Lady Oluremi Tinubu has called for the appropriation and enforcement of CIFA laws and punishments for perpetrators of rape, sexual abuse and other forms of gender-based violence. She made the call at the first Gender and Social Norms Summit organized by the United Nations Population Fund, UNFPA, in collaboration with her office. The First Lady noted that a summit provides a common platform especially for stakeholders, including wives of state governors, to create awareness, exchange lessons learned, and promote effective strategies for preventing and responding to GBV and other harmful practices. Statistics from the National Demographic Health Survey 2018 shows that nearly one in three Nigerians, Nigerian women, have experienced some form of gender-based violence, especially women with disabilities who are more susceptible and vulnerable. The prevalence of harmful practices such as female genital mutilation, child marriage, which in some cases leads to vesicovaginal fistula VVF, and other forms of violence against girls and women remain unacceptable, uh, unacceptably high. Despite various efforts, the incidence of these practices continue to grow. In the remarks, the Ministers for Education, Women Affairs and Youth are all in support of ramping up awareness and ensuring the perpetrators do not go unpunished. Girls are much more vulnerable than the boys. So the environment they need is far better than what ordinarily boys can cope with in terms of hygiene environment for instance and also safety schools have to be close to them and when in school they have to learn the right things the right values the right values have to be there in the suitable curriculum for them to be taken through and furthermore they need to be protected also when in school because they are also vulnerable to bullying and some other uh, acts of violence in schools, which are very common in schools. The Ministry of Youth Development stands resolute in its support for this cause. We recognize that the youth are not just the leaders of tomorrow, but the drivers of change today. Through our programs, we are committed to educating and empowering young Nigerians to challenge and transform these harmful norms. We aim to foster a generation that values equality, respects dig human dignity, and actively works to eliminate gender-based violence in all its forms. The highlight of the event was the signing of the Compact of Commitment by the First Lady and the wives of state governors, reaffirming their determination to end gender-based violence and other harmful practices in their states. That is no game.